Hi guys, Ashantin here. I thought I would show you my latest build and I'm lucky actually because it's only just stopped raining here. Oops, let's, there we go. Let's go and have a look. I'll put my cursor on in case I want to point to anything. <laughs> Recording, say hello. I wonder if he will. Hi, cheese. <laughs> I have had some really nice comments. Look at this. Ashantin's house and Gummy said, which looks amazing, by the way. Awesome job. Isn't that nice? And Jackson said, I agree with D G. it's looking amazing. I am so pleased. Anyway, do you remember me saying in the last video that I was going to make a market cross? Well, we now have a market cross. I don't know whether those of you who live in America know what these things are, but in medieval towns, which, and remember, medieval towns, market towns, often started where two roads crossed. And it was a great place to hold a market because people could come from four directions. And therefore they would have a market cross, which was a gathering place for people who wanted to market things. Now these things were all built of stone. Um, the, I know this would have looked lighter if I'd used um, the cobble walls for the columns and things. That's not what a market cross is. They are normally hexagonal. And I know that MJ builds in hexagons, but I just could not face trying to get this brickwork working with hexagons. They all have these little steps going up on all the sides so that you can approach it from any direction. They are always roofed in, but with no walls. They have arches round. And they have a central column. And ours in Chichester has a seat. It's very, very common to have a seat so that people can sit here bargain, gossip, talk about the time of day. So this is as close as I can get to a classical market cross. Now I have cited it here at the end of the day because um, the animals here are quite noisy and I thought that it'd be really good to have the market cross near the animals because you would often find that you had a, a stock market and that's an animal market, not one where you sell stocks and shares, but an animal market, a stock market, very, very close um, to the Market Cross. It also is next to the Majors Guild, which Ricky built. And it's quite, a, it's quite a plain build in a way, but these things were always just built of stone. However, it does have clocks on the top. All Market Crosses would have had a sundown on the south side. And later on, the Victorians put clocks on. Remember, not everyone could afford clocks, so it was very, very good to have somewhere central where you could actually tell the time. Now, ours in Chichester has these little things sticking up on all the support pillars. I have used cobble walls and put lights on top. Uh, we've got little tiny pennants and, you know, pictures of this, that and the other on all the local shields and things, but... Uh, Minecraft isn't quite detailed enough for that. Now the idea of a market cross, guys, is there are communal furnaces. Yes, I've moved those. I've moved the slime bowl. This is the cobblestone donations for Dorg. Dorg, you've got a lot in here. Um, but Dorg is building a vast titan, so he needs all the help he can get. Iron for all and redstone and coal for all. These chests I've moved here. This is one that has appeared, ender piles for finding and filling the end portal. So someone's having a good communal spirit there. These are the bottles of enchantment and the diamonds. There's also some melon seeds. Somebody hasn't picked theirs up. I know that pink won't, and I just wonder, Gummy, whether you might want to take hers into safekeeping. This is just random stuff. That I found around. Um, I've not been prescriptive here. 
I've not said you have to put chess here, you have to do this, this is where you give stuff to give away, this is where you give stuff to take and sell and stuff like that. I've just left it to developers people want. And the proof of the pudding is that already somebody has done a nice little chess there. So thank you all very much, guys. I have put a sign on, Market Cross, built by Ash. So it's all nicely underway. So that's all pretty good stuff, I think. I think our little town is starting to look very, very nice indeed. That building, that Market Cross, is a bit plain. Um, I think maybe I might put some flowers or something around it. Um, but then, they are plain. And having said that, it may be plain. But guys, I learnt a lot about working with bricks in my last build. For someone who'd never worked in brickwork before, um, it's actually starting to come to me a little bit more easily. And I have put in a little bit of crack brick and mossy cobble and stuff like that. But oh god, I wish that they did steps in mossy cobble and crack brick and things like that. Maybe one day, maybe one day. So that's where I got to. I had an absolute disaster. We have a, a program called Strictly Come Dancing. One of the judges says it was a disaster, darling. It was a disaster. This chest, look guys at this. Look at it. This, of course, is Ricky's chest. Who else? It was next to the other ones. And unfortunately, while I was putting up signs saying whose chest is this, there was a massive bang and a huge creeper explosion. And I'm afraid, I've now put a sign up saying Ricky's chest. I'm afraid I lost some sort of OP book for Ricky, so Oh dear, oh dear, not good at all. I really was concentrating so hard I just didn't see the creeper and it was broad daylight, so. But where he'd been hiding, I don't know. He must have been around the corner there, waiting for me. I've also had a most amazing gift. Um, Jackson doesn't play in armor um, and he suddenly turned up in my house and I've actually put it in a special chest Guys, 18 diamonds. 18, and he just came and gave them to me. And he's not even got diamond armour. I mean, I'm absolutely astonished. Jackson, thank you. And doesn't that view look better without the chest and the stuff there? He's been absolute sweetheart and moved it for me. But there you are. And Flameson was wonderful too. Because I, I was two hides short. I only got two hides. We don't have many cows, and I got those hides from fishing. And uh, he turned up with two hides so that I could put clocks, because they have to go in item frames, on all four corners of the tower. So this area that used to be littered with chests is now a lot freer, and it does give room to build if somebody wants to build something there. I'm still thinking about where to put my stables, and I might put them over by the Market Cross. That looks like Flameson. Hi, Flameson. Anyway, I just thought you'd like to see my Market Cross. So on that note, I think we will, as usual, get the wrong key. I really must get this right one day. You must be so fed up with seeing me crouch. So bye-bye, guys. See you later.